Hello, today I would like to talk about Java WebSocket framework named Whistleback. Before I start, I want to say a few words about WebSocket technology. WebSocket standard was created to provide fast, bidirectional and low latency communication channel between browser and web server. The WebSocket has its own protocol based on traditional TCP, although initial connection is made using HTTP request. Bristolback framework consists of two parts, Java server side powered by Spring framework and JavaScript client. Bristolback allows you to choose from Apache Tomcat, Jetty or Netty as WebSocket protocol implementation. I will show you how to write, build and run some simple WebSocket application using Bristolback framework. The fastest way to create and run Bristolback web application is to use our Maven archetype. Let's copy archetype generate command from Bristolback website, run it and pass additional information about the project. A basic web application has been created. Let's open it. Now let's take a quick look at the main configuration files, starting from pomxml. Here we can see Bristolback and Spring dependencies. In web descriptor file there is Spring Dispatcher servlet, which is used to handle WebSocket requests. And the last one, Spring Application Context file. Here we use Bristolback tags to define server instance and set WebSocket engine to Jetty. Let's start server by using Maven Jetty run command. Now we can open new browser tab and type localhost 88. The archetype has created some sample server and client actions for us. Now we are ready to start coding some fancy stuff. Now I'm going to show you how simple is creating new actions. All you need to do is create class annotated with action class and component and create method with annotation action. In our sample we will use simple person model. So let's create new person action class with method increment age. Whistleback framework will automatically bind JSON message from JavaScript client to Java method parameters. If you need more complex binding strategy, please check documentation about bind annotation. Also, framework will automatically bind value returned by method to JSON and send it to JavaScript client. Here you can see the sample web page created by our Maven archetype and uh, our configuration of JavaScript client. First, we want to remove action methods created by archetype and then create new action using data controller. To create simple JavaScript action, we need to follow the three steps. First, create an action class, then define our action, and in case we want to get response, we need to set the response handler. The names of the actions, action classes and actions needs to match our previous Java action classes. Let's also add a button so we can trigger our new action from those. We also need to invoke our action class and as a parameter we provide the JavaScript object with two properties name and age. Now we can restart the Jetty server and uh, go to the browser and see that uh, our new action is working. One of the biggest benefits of WebSocket standard is sending events from server to browser client. Bristolback implements that mechanism by client actions. Let me show you example. Let's change our increment edge action to invoke event on all connected clients. Now our method will return void and new client action will be invoked. All you need to do is use another set of annotation named the client action class and client action. This time method parameters are going to be serialized to JSON and message recipients are specified as object returned from action method. Now it's time to add JavaScript part. We need to create object with handler method and register class in data controller. As you can see, we are using corresponding person model with name and age properties. Let's restart Jetty server and connect from two browser tabs. As you can see, click on the increment age button 
drop action in both browser tabs. That's all for now. I showed you only small piece of all features. I hope that this presentation made you curious about Bristol Bank. You can further test Bristol Bank in action by visiting our samples applications. For more detailed information and documentation, please visit our homepage bristolbank.pl and our GitHub project. Do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or bug reports. You can do it by writing a mail to bristolbank at bristolbank.pl, creating new show on GitHub or posting on our forum. Thanks you for watching.